too brown, too curly. I feel like I'm in the Olympics. Rocket man! My name is Justin, and I'm in a band called Recycle Percussion. We started 20 years ago in the state of New Hampshire, and now have our own headline show in Las Vegas, where we perform over 600 shows a year. And that's just where the chaos begins, because in the house behind me lives a rock band, my family, the most beautiful daughters in the world, two dogs, where's the other one? An endless chaos. But above all, we love to give back and make a difference. So welcome to our world of chaos and kindness. Welcome to a very special episode of Chaos and Kindness. We're calling this one The Throwback. For over 20 years, Recycle Percussion has been a band, and we started in the beautiful, amazing state of New Hampshire. Now we tour all over the world, including nine years of being a headline show in Las Vegas. But what many people don't realize is well before we had our own TV show, the kindness was always there. It was embedded in our DNA. It started for me even in sixth grade, when I wanted to help kids get toys for Christmas, they wouldn't have any. So we thought it'd be a great opportunity to share some stories with you of things that you may not know about that we were doing well before the TV show. The first story we'd love to share is about a beautiful family. This family is from Las Vegas and they live in a homeless shelter. And we wanted to give them one incredible day. So we present to you our very first ever throwback episode of Chaos and Kindness. When I grew up, I didn't have a lot of money. I grew up in a trailer park. Food stamps were oftentimes how we got our groceries. And I know that school clothes were never usually an option. So today, I'm gonna go to a homeless shelter here in Las Vegas, pick up a remarkable family, and bring them to do all the very things that I never got to do as a child, and hopefully forge a bond that could last a lifetime. Yeah! You guys come with me today? Yeah. You come with me? Yeah. I think I met you guys before. Yeah. I'm, I'm Justin. Across the street. I need to know your name. I Isaiah. Hey, Isaiah? Uh-huh. I've met you before, but I can't remember your name. Xavier. Xavier. I'm Justin. Caleb. 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 You ever been in one of these? Limousine. You ever been in a limousine? No. One day just having fun. One good day at whatever we want. We can go to the park. What else do you want to do? First, I'll go to school. <laughs> what, school? Yeah. <laughs> I don't think we're going to do school today. I don't want to go to school today. When Safaria's first instinct was that she wanted to go to school, I don't think she understood what kind of day we were going to have. I don't. I'm going to relax in the limousine. <laughs> <laughs> you know what your mom's going to do today? Your mom's gonna go to the spa and get a facial first. And while she's doing that, we're gonna go to the park and play. The look on the mom's face when we told her she was going to the spa was priceless. Oh! <laughs> mom's gonna be looking hot tonight. <laughs> have, you, have you got a facial recently? No, I didn't call. How long has it been? Ooh, I have my first time. First time? Connie had never had a facial before, so she was in for a treat. And this was just the beginning. Hi, I'm Carrie. Hi, I'm Connie. Nice to meet you, Connie. Okay, we're gonna do a facial on you today. Okay. It should be just a few minutes. She's setting up. Okay. Uh, we're back later on. Yeah, here. Okay. Cool. All right, well, enjoy it. Have fun. We'll see ya. While Connie was off getting a facial, there was one place I knew that every kid would love. It's universal. It's called a toy store. Here's what we're gonna do. Let's get around. We're gonna go in the store because in here, each one of you gets to pick out one toy that you want. What are you thinking you want? A skateboard. A skateboard? <laughs> I thought you said you wanted a remote control. A remote control or a skateboard. Okay, remote control or skateboard, what do you want? Scooter. You said race car. You keep changing your mind on me. What, what do you want? A scooter. Everybody wants a scooter. <laughs> well, if they don't have scooters in here, we're going to have to find something else. You guys ready? Yeah. All right, put your hands in here. Ready? Put your hands on here. When I say on three, we say toys. One, two, three. Toys. toys. All right. Oh, no. <laughs> If you want toys, raise your hand. They 
are having the time of their life. Toys, 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 hashtag toys. I want to go for you. But you want a skateboard. I'm tired, I'm telling you, I'm tired. I've played 6,000 shows in my life. I hit the gym every day. And trying to hang with these kids and keep up, whew, it was a chore in itself. If you can't, if you can't have a scooter at the, at, at the shelter, then where, where can we keep it? I don't know, I don't know. While we were trying to find a scooter for Savaria, we realized she wouldn't be allowed to have this in the shelter. So we had to think of something different that she could get that you enjoy just as much. What can you have? You can have remote control. You can have remote control. What else? No guns. No yeah. guns. Definitely you no guns. Okay, hop in. We're moving. I you want to pay? pay? All right. He's paying. I pay. He's paying. How much? Thirty-four ninety-nine. Okay. Look what I got! I got a puppet. A remote control helicopter. I think for everybody. The kids left the toy store with huge smiles on their faces and each of them was something that they were super stoked about. So it's time to jump back in the fancy limousine and continue our day. Can you stand here next to me? Yep. Okay. What? All right, guys. Oh, Come on, no, we're going this way. Since it's August and school is right around the corner, I know how important it is that each and every kid goes to school feeling fresh and confident. So the next thing up, School shopping. Whatever they want, they could have. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna get some clothes for school. Who wants clothes for school? Me. Welcome back to a very special episode of Chaos and Kindness. Today, we're exploring some of the things that we used to do well before the TV show days. Right now, we're with a family in Las Vegas who lives in a homeless shelter and we're giving them the most special day of their lives. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna get some clothes for school. Who wants clothes for school? Me. The kids were having the time of their lives, going through every aisle, grabbing backpacks, shoes, clothes, t-shirts, pants, everything in the kitchen sink, but not literally. But they were having a blast. Oh, yeah, oh. Okay, I got the ball, I got the pants, I got the backpack, pants? underwear. What do you want? A backpack. A backpack? You can get a backpack. That's what you want? We'll get you a backpack. What is this? Angry birds? Yeah. Why are they angry? What do you got? Caleb was hilarious. He didn't realize what size he was. He was picking out like dinosaur sized shoes. Is this your size? Ha! <laughs> you think it's gonna fit? Oh! Help me up! We're supposed to be friends if you want. If you don't help me up, how am I gonna help us pay for clothes? Oh, I gotta be stronger than that. I need the whole team. Oh! Oh, I'm up! All right, check it out, guys. Guess what we're doing? Huh? We're going to go pick up your mom, and then we're going to go tell your mom all the cool things we got, and then we're going to go get a big lunch and get ice cream. Yay! Yay! How do you do it? <laughs> After an hour with those guys, I'm like, where's the mom? So you feel good? Yeah. You hungry? We're going to get some food. When we returned to the spa to get Connie, the kids couldn't wait to share with her their experiences and all the toys and fun things that they had gotten. Uh oh. Surprise! Yeah, Mommy, I got a suit. Yeah. I'm gonna get some We had a lunch box. I got some candy. <laughs> <laughs> we got everything we wanted. Everything. I got a bunch of pajamas. Superman. Wow. It is me. Hey, where's my backpack? Hey, where's my backpack? When it's 110 degrees in Las Vegas and you have three kids with you, there's only one option. Ice cream! Who's ready for ice cream? Yeah. Okay, here's one rule. The only thing I ask is that everybody gets as much as they want. Have fun. Yeah. 
These kids knew exactly what they wanted. They did not hold back. I have never seen so many toppings, so much sugar in one bowl. You guys broke the scale. That's how heavy this ice cream is. Now we need to find a place where these kids can burn off all those calories and all that energy. They call this the sky zone. You know what the sky zone is? It's a big, huge place full of things you can jump on and throw around and go crazy. So before we go in there, before we go in there, I know, but we have to stretch. So everybody put your arms up. We gotta stretch. We, fitness first. On three, we say fun. One, two, three, fun! This place was a blast. Foam pits, basketball hoops, trampolines. This was the place that these kids wanted to be. Well, you tired? Yeah. You too. But before the day concluded, there was one very special place I wanted to bring this family. One of my personal favorites. Welcome to a very special episode of Chaos and Kindness. We're calling this the Throwback Edition. We're taking a look back at some of the amazing things that this group did well before the TV show. Right now, we're with a family in Las Vegas who lives in a homeless shelter and we're giving them the most special day of their lives. This is really cool because Isaiah has been asking me all day long if he could drive a race car. You guys have some things that you see on TV or something you've done that... Ride a car? Drive a car? Uh -huh. And well, he's not probably old enough to drive a real race car, the next best thing is a go-kart, which he's never been in. But today he gets to live that dream and I'm glad I'm able to facilitate that for him. Cheer for him. We got it. He's doing awesome. Watching Isaiah whip around that race course, you could tell he had some natural talent and he loved to go fast. You also, from the smile of his face, could see how much he was enjoying this day. Today, I mean, I'm not going to forget it because they don't get a chance to go and do stuff. So today is, oh, it's been a blast and thank you guys so much. Sitting down with Connie and hearing her talk about their lives, their struggles, and how these kids live every day, it was heartbreaking to know that these amazing children don't get to do these things that many of us take for granted. So now it was time, unfortunately, to say goodbye and bring them back to the shelter. Well, we just dropped the family back off at the shelter. It was bittersweet for me, though, because the kids kept asking me if we could do it again tomorrow. And that's when, it, that's when it hit me that I, I realized that when those kids, when they go home to the shelter tonight, they're not sleeping in a bed that they normally sleep in. They don't know who they're gonna wake up next to. I mean, I don't have that. Most of us don't have that. We have our own cars, our houses, our belongings, our own world that we live in. When I think about it, it's amazing to me that this mother has this beautiful army of children she loves them so much. This woman's with these kids, trying to make sure that they're fed, making sure that they're taken care of, making sure that they have direction. And I'm, I'm just extremely humbled that this family has to do this every day. But I hope in the long run that I have forged a relationship with this family, with these kids. I hope that I gave them a different perspective on life. And I hope this inspires you, anybody that's watching this video, to do the same, to go out and take a family, 
doesn't take a lot of money, just a little creativity, a little time, and make a difference in their life for a day. Make a video of your own and share it. Pay it forward. Thank you. Here I am four years later sharing a story with you of something we did for a family in Las Vegas. And I can still remember every great detail of that day because it was so impactful for me. You see, everybody here watching this TV show, each of you have the opportunity to help make a difference. It doesn't require a lot of money, just some effort, just some humanity. But that gives everybody hope. And that is what this world needs. Now, I always thought one of the biggest things plaguing the world today is bullying. It's rampant, not only in schools, but in the workplace, our relationships and our friendships. For me, I wanted to make a statement loud and clear. My idea was to use the logo of our foundation and create the world's largest anti-bullying sign comprised of hundreds of thousands of pieces of red paper where individuals could write their message of hope and anti-bullying from all over the world and bring them together. With 55 days to pull off such an enormous challenge, I knew we had our work cut out for us. But I also knew the importance of making a statement that we don't have to live in a world of bullying. My idea to put this together and have individuals be a part of this was incredibly, incredibly challenging. But it worked. We set that world record. And I want to share that story with you right now. for a very important message after the break. We hope you've enjoyed this very special episode of Chaos and Kindness. We took a retrospective look back to what I feel has made this band so great. While it's the things that we do on stage that have made us famous, it's the things that we do off stage that fulfill our hearts. And today we explored a couple very important stories. Bringing that family to the shelter and showing them that they're just as special as anyone else. Building an anti-bullying sign that the world will never forget. Bringing thousands of people together with a common goal. To stand up for humanity. To show that positivity triumphs negativity. To show that we all have an opportunity to live life to the fullest. You know, this band has been around for a long time with a long time still to come. And if there's one thing for certain, we'll always want to give back and make a difference. That's who we are and who we'll continue to be. This is the real deal and it's as organic as it gets. We love 
to show the world that kindness is the most important thing and it's a thread that keeps us all together. So we hope that everyone watching this remembers that in a world full of chaos, it's important that each and every one of us continues to show our kindness.